This video is going to be about oysters and oyster reefs. So in some of my other videos I've talked about an oyster reef and so I'm just going to give you a little closer look at one. This is a low tide. Low tide was about 20 minutes ago. And if I, I'm going to do a slow 360 here so you can kind of see what the environment looks like. I'm standing at the edge of the water on an oyster reef. And if you look at the surface, of the area that isn't covered with water, that's all oyster reef. Oyster reefs are very important to the whole ocean ecosystem. I'm going to go down and we're going to take a closer look here at what's lying on the ground. So these are all clusters of oysters. None of these are living now, but you can see all different sizes and that's because oysters start out as little swimming larva. They attach themselves to a hard surface, such as another oyster shell, and then they begin to grow. They grow in colonies, one atop the other, and they just continue to grow. So what's the purpose of an oyster? Oysters filter contaminants out of the water. So they're actually very uh, important to a lot of things. The oyster reefs also act as a barrier. You can see my kayak out there along the edge. They act as a barrier for storms. And of course oysters provide food for sea life and humans. This area, the Appalachia, Appalachia Bay is well known for its world-renowned oysters. These are supposed to be the best eating oysters anywhere around and I can attest that they are pretty darn good. But anyway, that's a little information about oyster reefs.